Hypothesis is a web annotation tool that aims to bring an open conversation over the web. With this tool, you can create annotations to hold discussions, read, organize your research, and take personal notes. Since 2015, users have posted more than 6 million annotations using this app. This means more open conversations and in-depth discussions that can benefit everyone. There's perhaps nothing more essential to learning than reading. And there's nothing more essential to reading than annotation. Scholars, students, and everyday readers have been annotating in books since at least the invention of the book itself. But as books and other assigned readings move online, we lose the ability to practice this essential learning skill. But why is web annotation important? I'm sure many of you who teach have wondered before about whether your students have done the assigned reading. One of the repeated testimonials from professors using Hypothesis is that collaborative annotation lets them know that students have done it. There's a trace of their presence in the text. Annotation, close, active reading, those practices have been proven to have positive effects on learning outcomes. But Hypothesis is valuable beyond the understood importance of marginal note-taking. Students that are annotating together are collaborating deeply, learning how to work together to both comprehend information and create knowledge in ways that can be applied beyond reading of course material. Not only students carry their notes with them from course to course and beyond campus, but they carry the practice of annotation with them too. They've learned to become engaged readers and thinkers, knowledge producers, collaborators. These skills are essential in everyday life and contribute to lifelong learning. Here is an overview of the types of annotations you can create with Hypothesis. A highlight is the digital equivalent of a yellow marker. Simply select a portion of the text and use the highlight control to create this annotation. As the name implies, it is just a highlight. It anchors to its selection in the document and quotes the selection, but there is no comments or tags. A highlight is always private which means only you can see it, and only when you're logged in. An annotation is the digital equivalent of a marginal note. After making a selection, you use the pop-up annotate control to create this type of annotation. Like a highlight, it is anchored to the selected text, which it also quotes. Unlike a highlight, it includes extra things that you can add, text and or tags, in this example, the annotation is not marked only me, so it is visible to everyone. A page note is like a social bookmark. It annotates comments and or tags with the document without anchoring that information to a passage within the document. A page note isn't selection based. You create one using the new page note control on the hypothesis vertical toolbar. As with an annotation, you add texts and or tags. In this example, the annotation is not marked only me either, so it's visible to everyone. But you can also mark this type of annotation only me and make it private. Unlike a highlight, an annotation, or a page note, a reply doesn't refer to an annotated document. Instead, it refers to one of those annotation types or to a prior reply. You use the reply link to create a reply. Let's look at this quick start guide. First, sign up for a Hypothesis account yourself. Go to the registration page. All you need to do to sign up for an account is an email address and a username. You should receive a confirmation email shortly. Check your spam box if not. While you would register at the Hypothesis site, you'll more typically be signing in through the Annotation sidebar after activating it using the Chrome extension. The easiest way to do it is to Google Hypothesis Chrome extension. Click on the Chrome Store website for Hypothesis and click on Add to Chrome. Now you only need to click on the Hypothesis button on Chrome to start annotating. If you don't want to use Chrome, or if you don't want to add the Chrome extension, you have other options. You can copy the URL of the websites that you want to annotate. 
then navigate to the Hypothesis website, web.hypothesis.is, and paste the website URL on the Paste a Link box. This will create a proxy website where you can add your annotations. You can also type via.hypothesis.is before any website to annotate with via. By default, the hypothesis sidebar is always collapsed. Once you open the sidebar, you will see all annotations on the page. You may also select highlighted text to reveal individual annotations. If you're logged in but you don't want to see the highlights, you can always turn it off. If you want to annotate privately with a group of Hypothesis users, then the Groups feature is what you will want to use. This is a great way to create an assignment for your class and invite your students to annotate. Once you create a group, you can invite others to join in by sharing a special link. Here's how you can create a private group. Click on the View drop-down menu and select New Private Group. Choose a name for your group. This will generate a group homepage that can be shared with others. This link serves as an invitation to join the group. When you share the link with your students, they will see this message. Once your group users create annotations, a clickable list of web resources created by the group will appear in your group homepage. Note that after linking to documents to be annotated from the group homepage, Users must activate Hypothesis and toggle the Scope Selector in the Hypothesis sidebar to the appropriate group from public. Remind your students to always select the correct group. Now that you know how to annotate and create groups, check our next video for some ideas on how to use Hypothesis in your class.